Thousands upon thousands of die-hard Lamborghini fans let out a collective gasp of unhappiness upon hearing Lamborghini's latest news about their upcoming range of supercars. We told you this shift was coming. We've been talking about it for months now, but even I am a little surprised at how fast things are moving. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Life Apollos. Happy to have you here. Now, we have three major news stories to go over today, guys. We're talking about Lamborghini's massive announcement. We're talking about uh, Biden actually uh, having a very interesting test drive in the Ford Lightning right before it's released. And we spied the brand new Ferrari hybrid supercar on the road. All of that today, guys. I'll tell you, uh, the, the first story we're gonna be covering today is an absolute barn burner. I'm not particularly happy about it. There are elements of it that I like, uh, but get ready for this, guys. Beard Nation, welcome to the show. Let's get ready to work. All right, guys, we told you we'd talk about it. Uh, Lamborghini has just announced its electrification plan, and it is pretty dramatic. Uh, definitely a, a very big departure from how they used to do business. Get ready for an entirely new Lamborghini moving forward. We're gonna jump right into the article here, guys. The company intends to introduce its first battery electric model in the second part of the decade. That's not really a big deal. Uh, at least about five years from now, it probably means the company is barely starting its adventures with VEVs. On the other hand, we believe that Lamborghini is forced to lower its average CO2 emission in Europe through the introduction of hybrid and electric powertrains. While on the other hand, Lamborghini was waiting for better batteries to match the range and performance of its conventional models. Here's where the big stuff happens to hit. Uh, before the first electric Lamborghini will appear on the market, the focus will remain on combustion engines in 2021 and 2022. And here it comes and on hybrid transition by the end of 2024. The first hybrid series production model will be launched in 2023. And by the end of 2024, the entire range will be electrified. In effect, by the beginning of 2025, the average CO2 emission of the new Lamborghini models will be reduced by 50%. What to say about this, guys? Um, this is huge. If you think about the way the Lamborghini has done business uh, for the entirety of its entire company, uh, there's always been a big flagship V12, and that's not necessarily going away, by the way. We might just have uh, hybrid V12s moving forward. I'd love to see that. Uh, there's definitely a lot of uncertainty here, though, in what this is going to mean. And the reaction so far from diehard Lamborghini fans has been the exact opposite of what you would want it to be if you're Lamborghini. Uh, a lot of people showing disgust, uh, a lot of people very angry with Lamborghini for announcing that there's gonna be no more naturally aspirated cars after 2024. Um, I'm a little bit torn, uh, having just uh, sampled some Lamborghinis very recently uh, of the naturally aspirated kind. There is definitely something very incredible about a car that has an internal combustion engine. On top of that, I definitely understand the need for hybrid and eventually electric technology. You absolutely have to have some sort of hybrid technology uh, to keep up with the other manufacturers. Just think of like the SF90, for instance. If Lamborghini does not start transferring over to hybrid vehicles, they're gonna get left in the dust in terms of performance. Um, it's, it's a really rough thing though, guys. I really don't know exactly what to feel about it. It's a pretty difficult position to be in. Uh, this is actually gonna cost them a tremendous amount of money. Uh, they were talking about $1.8 billion over four years. I mean, that is a substantial investment. Um, I don't think they're ever coming back to internal combustion engines. Um, there are a couple other articles that discussed that they haven't explicitly said that yet. Maybe they'll release like a one-off here and there. I would imagine that this means the end of internal combustion engines alone for Lamborghini uh, after 2024. I wanna show you guys some of the reactions that we have seen so far too. Uh, Car and Driver put up this announcement earlier today. And I mean, I I'm not joking when I say that pretty much every single comment is just utter disgust with this particular announcement. On top of that, I wanna ask you guys what you think about Lamborghini's move here. Are you happy that it's gonna be happening? Are you ready for like hybrid technology, uh, like the Lamborghini Scion? Um, there are definitely things to like about this movement forward, but it's gonna be a very, I think, difficult shift for like anyone from like 25 and over who fell in love with like the growl of naturally aspirated V12s or V10s or whatever it happens to be, and now have to get used to something 
very different. Like can performance uh, of a car in terms of like a zero to 60 or around the track uh, completely uh, reduce that sort of uh, connection you feel with the exhaust of a car. And that might sound stupid to a lot of you, but when I test drove the Porsche Taycan Turbo S uh, earlier this year, it was one of the fastest cars I've ever been in. I personally would not buy one uh, as my main like super car because I think I'd miss the exhaust sound too much. Maybe that's weird, maybe that's crazy. Let me know in the comments below, guys. This is gonna be a huge development for Lamborghini moving forward. I wanna get your take on it because this is a, it's a whole new supercar world. Next up, guys, I had to mention this because the transition from like the Lamborghini story to what we're gonna talk about next just felt so easy. Uh, the Drive has a new article out. The electric Ford F-150 talking about the Lightning does zero to 60 in 4.4 seconds, according to President Biden's big mouth. This sucker is quick, the president told the media. Apparently, uh, Biden went for a drive out with a new F-150 Lightning uh, just earlier uh, today. This is gonna be debuting, I think it's tomorrow at this point. Uh, we'll definitely be covering that as it goes live. Uh, apparently, he uh, talked to the press after this went live. We're gonna try to show some of that here. So he talked to the press and let slip some information he probably shouldn't have. Looks to the Ford rep. <laughs> so he accidentally let slip apparently something very close to the zero to 60, uh, 4.3, 4.4. Then he like, I think he tears off here at the end and goes for another little like quick drive. Let's see how it is here. It's the Ford Lightning. Oh, lovely. The press just eats that up. Uh, anyway, not gonna get political. Um, anyway, uh, I guess what do you guys think about that? Uh, the Ford Lightning uh, scheduled to debut tomorrow, as long as I think I got my dates right. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. All that stuff we talked about in terms of electrification of vehicles, I still like electric vehicles. Um, I'm just a little bit sad that, you know, certain supercar manufacturers, Lamborghini, are just sort of moving away from naturally aspirated anything, or even like turbos at this point to hybrid technology. Uh, give me your thoughts on the Ford F-150 Lightning. Are you excited about it? Are you pumped about it? Would you buy one if it has zero to 60 in like four something seconds. We're thinking about it too. Let me know in the comments. We're gonna keep going. Next up today, I uh, gotta talk about the new Ferrari V6 powered hybrid supercar. It just seems fitting to talk about the new hybrid lineup for supercar manufacturers. Uh, says it looks like a lot like the SF90 Stradale, but there's no V8 roar. Um, they talk about how they've known Ferrari was in the process of developing a new hybrid supercar. Ah, eh, blah, 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 blah. Let's get to the actual video. So it says exclusive here, V6 hybrid spotted in the wild same styling elements of the sf90 high mounted dual exit tailpipe yeah definitely a very different sounding ferrari to be sure hmm i don't know uh, like I said, I'm excited about it. I think it'll be very interesting to see kind of what happens uh, with supercars moving forward. Obviously, there's a ton of benefits to having hybrid supercars, crazy instant torque, uh, better potential range. Uh, there's a lot of good things about it. This is the new world we live in, guys. This is, uh, this is not a dream. This is what we're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, I, I feel like 10 years from now, it's gonna be weird to look back on, uh, I guess, like the different automotive uh, advancements that were made like during my adult years. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about it. Are you excited about the new V6 powered hybrid super? That just sounds weird. This last sort of parting shot here. A V6 powered hybrid supercar sounds a little bit strange. Obviously you can get some crazy numbers out of it. I'm sure it'll be incredibly fast. Would you buy it over like a 458 or a 488 or an F8? I wanna know in the comments below. It's a weird thing to discuss. Now, I apologize, guys. We initially were gonna have some more automotive YouTuber news. We're gonna push that till tomorrow morning. I was filming a vlog earlier today that I can't discuss quite yet. 
and uh, that was gonna have two videos out. We weren't able to do that, so we had to compress all of our new stuff into one video. All the YouTuber news that I said I was gonna do today, it's gonna happen tomorrow. I think morning or evening, I will do our best to catch up on it. Thanks for being understanding. We are still trying to get on track after so many kind of like mini vacations and being away. We're doing our absolute best, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for understanding. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you love automotive and supercar news, and we're gonna move on forward with uh, great episodes each and every day. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. I'm out. Bye.